this is Metal Giant and welcome to another replay cast. So some people challenged me or dared me to go ham in the Fosh 155. So let's go ham in the Fosh 155. This video is going to be a great showcase that every dog has its day and pretty much every tier 10 TD can have epic games. Doesn't mean it's a good tank though. Also, as professional as always, I didn't record this in 9.6 clients, so there is some replay glitches like a shell container that shows that I have zero shots remaining. Uh, since counting to three is not that hard, I don't think it should be a problem. There are some other bugs, but they are in most cases minor. So, the good old play that works against really, really bad players, and uh, there is some not really really bad players, but it, there is some mediocre players in this game. So my hopes are high that there will be campers in J7 for me to snack on. And this is probably the best tank to snack on things like that. You get here fast, you spot them because you have fuel range. And you murder them because you have 3 shot autoloader. And also you don't get spotted because camo and shit. Pretty much all the good Fosh 5 games need to start like this. You need to ambush somebody right away. Your first play is to ambush some poor motherfucker like that Jack Panzer E100 that is going to pay the price uh, for sitting there. That last shot was really, really badly taken and I got really lucky that I penned it. So I'm not even going to complain about low rolling that one. So there we go. 3 out of 3 and the Jack Panzer dies. 2100 damage within... Uh, what? 1 minute and 30 seconds, so now just sitting here relaxing and reloading. Also, my mod, my config was fucked for the time of recording, so uh, this is actually not my config I'm using, so there might be some weird things that you might not be used to, but it, that shouldn't be a big deal also. So after our evil trap has worked, I'm just gonna peek up here to see if there's anybody else here, and there is an SD1. Uh, and this is what I was saying about people that uh, like are not very good players. They you have a real good chance to just slaughter them like little puppies here. I will need to shoot him again because he's not gonna burn to death. Uh, he's taking for below ten with more than hundred health, so there's no way he's gonna take to death. So I just took another shot and went for another reload. There's no real point in holding that one shot in the container if you are. Um, if you don't have like any uh, targets in your sights, and I didn't, so I went for a reload. So, sitting on two kills, five shots out of, uh, well, five hits out of five shots, so reasonably decent accuracy here, just trolling around and seeing if I can spot anything. I do have optics on this thing, so it is pretty good at uh, spotting things at range without having to sit here and wait for five seconds every time to put the binos up, which is nice. So my next victims have to be somebody on the hill, there's no way I'm really going to find any decent targets down the hill, so I'm just gonna climb up and murder some uh, puppies on the hill. And as always, all the people in the chat will be like, oh, well, you just got super lucky. Well, apart from the first Yakman, well, third Yakman's shot, this wasn't all that lucky to be begin with, and uh, even with that, without that shot, this game would have been... So way above my requirements for the ace tanker anyways. So here is my victim IS-7 sitting in the open. Can aim, could have aimed longer, didn't really matter since I wasn't spotted. Uh, so that may, might have been a mistake. Two shots to kill that guy and then the C5 just decides he might not have an auto loader. And just sits in front of my gun for the third shot. So I managed to shoot uh, all three shots again. Building up the, put the damage down to 5.6k which is quite... Quite good for four minutes of game, I would say. So eight shots fired, eight shots hit, eight shots penetrated, and I got two kills as well. And now again, let's wait for the reload. I while doing that, I'm also gonna try to spot this 3019. Hopefully somebody murders him. And there we go. I said goes for him and kills him. This is a bit of a misplay because my reload timer was around 10 seconds when I started the move, and then it's still like five seconds, so I still have to sit here and look at that guy for a bit too much time here. And now when I'm loaded, I managed to slam one uh, into the IS-8 uh, before he gets away. So it wasn't that big of a mistake, but uh, it would have been better if I did not get spotted there. Well, not get spotted till I'm actually loaded and ready to shoot. A bit greedy, I guess. And I, my, I'm not actually invincible. This is one of the replay bags. I don't know why it didn't uh, acknowledge that I took damage there, but I did. So minus 440 health. 
or something along those lines. I won't take enough hits uh, in this game for that to even be a question, did uh, it matter or not. But uh, yeah, one shot remaining, I am going to put this uh, E75 e out of his misery. Uh, straight shot through the turret should do the job 290 pen i didn't again aim this fully but i didn't want to really get shot by yak tiger or any of his friends so i did it quickly and it worked so whatever so 7, 7k damage in less than six minutes so now relocating for the next targets Guaranteed, this game is just like everything falling to its places, but then again, somebody wanted to see how to go ham in the Fush 155, this is how you do it. Uh, you, even though I have, like, everybody can have this opportunity on Prokhovka, you still need to kind of know how to use it, and that first spot is just a really, really good way to start the game off. Then the shots on the hill are also, that push is extremely good for a TD like this, because you don't really get spotted until you open fire, which also is really, really good. And now just trying to aim for these Yak Tigers. This one isn't the best shot ever, but the other one is just flat out in the open, so that's my my target, obviously. First shot hits, um, you don't really miss these kind of shots. Second shot hits, and now I don't really have the greatest choice between targets. The bow, all are low health, and I go for the Yak Tiger. Wasn't the greatest shot, though, also it could have uh, bounced off there quite easily. So another reload, and... Three more tanks left, the T-54 and the Yak Panzers probably are going to die before I reload, but I still might get some um, taste out of that uh, Yak Tiger that is still on full health. So the equipment I would use on this thing is ventilation, coated optics and gun lane drive, just to help this horrible gun uh, do its job, and since it's an auto loader you can't mount a rammer, so you have more choice on what you actually want to mount on there. And it is actually looking quite likely that I'm going to shoot this Yak Tiger as well. He has some 1400 health, so if I got all of his health, I could have gotten 10k damage, but uh, sadly it is not meant to be. My first, uh, my reload was a bit too long, and the 50 biggest two shots, well, I only get one. Regardless, 9.4k damage ain't that bad. So here's the end plate, Ace Tanker, 4188 experience with the double, high caliber and sniper. 100% uh, accuracy, 9474 damage done, 2892 assisted as well. But let's be honest here, perfect, perfect map for this, perfect enemy team and perfect our team. Our team could have been slightly better and I would have been still fine, but in like you can't complain about a game like this. Almost 1400 base XP in a tier 10 tank destroyer is quite decent, so... Yeah, can't really complain about anything that happened in that game. Also, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss a single sh Well, yeah, I didn't miss a single shot and I didn't bounce a single shot. I could have bounced on the Yak Panzer and the Yak Tiger at the end there as well, but uh, yeah, whatever. And maybe that actually wasn't a replay bag. Maybe the IS-8 only uh, shot my uh, radio man with HE because I can't see. Uh, it doesn't even uh, register in the end plate, so it probably, did not, uh, it probably was HE that only killed my radio guy. That being said, it is time to plug my own t-shirts, so if you want to get your hands on one of these t-shirts while supporting my channel greatly, it, uh, you have a chance till May 19th. Every, a price of every one of these is $22 and shipping is not included, so uh, shipping for US is uh, I think below $5, so it's not that bad, but for uh, international shipping, I think it is uh, around... Uh, 12 or 13 dollars extra so it adds up to quite a lot i know but i would really really appreciate anybody that are uh, is willing to buy one of these and i would be really disappointed if i ever meet you in real life and you're not wearing one of these note that if you order one they will only be shipped after uh, may 19th so you probably will get them in uh, early june depending on where you live obviously if you are interested, click on the link in the description below and it will take you to the page where you can buy these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.